Hi, I'm Brian Holders with Root Cause. We're downtown Seattle today installing porous pavement. The material that we're installing is broadly known as porous pavement. The particular product that we prefer is goes by the trade name Porous Pave. As you can see, this is an extremely large tree pit. It's, I think this one was 10, by four, 10 feet by 14 feet approximately. The opening in the sidewalk, which is known as the tree pit, where the tree is, is uh, rife with hazards. People walk through here, they compact the soil around the trees, they kick the whatever substrate we have uh, around the trees, gets kicked into the sidewalk, whether it's dirt, crushed gravel, whatever. The, the purpose of the, the, of the porous pave, particularly on these larger pits, is to increase the walking surface and to decrease the maintenance that the tree pit needs. Again, if you've got a situation, in a typical situation, day after day after day after day, where people are walking through, bicycles are going through, and material gets compacted and kicked into the sidewalk, and somebody's got to keep sweeping it up, day after day after day after day after day to keep the sidewalks clean. This material holds in place. It's 27% it's pore space, so water runs right through it when it rains. Obviously, in, everything underneath here is ground space. Everything underneath this is soil. That's the, the soil that the tree uses to live on. And the water gets through easily. So it's, it's porous, so the water gets through. It helps protect the surface of the soil from pedestrian traffic because repeated pedestrian traffic can also compact the soil and limit the, the tree root's ability to grow. And most importantly, particularly on these larger pits, the porous pave increases the size of the walking surface. When root cause is called in to install porous pave in tree pits, the first thing we have to do is to remove any loose material at the surface. And so we haul off the old stuff, we bring in the gravel, we compact it. When we get ready to install the material, the material is mixed on site, poured on site, and it's installed and spread and compacted with hand trowels. So what does it take to mix, make the mixture? 50 pound bag of rubber in your choice of color, 50 pound bag of rock, five quarts of glue. Mix it for about a minute in the mortar mixer. Pour it into the wheelbarrow, wheelbarrow it to the hole, dump it in and spread it out. If we install these in the daytime, it's we. I like to leave these cones up for 24 hours. After that, it's dry. <music> Municipal engineers, departments of transportation, anybody that manages public works people, anybody that manages sidewalks, anybody that manages pedestrian walking spaces and streets, anybody that manages trees that live in tree pits, that live surrounded by concrete. The function of the porous pave is to create a stable surface at grade, eliminate trip hazards, remain porous so that the, so that the tree can continue to get water and reduce, minimize or reduce the cleanup. A tree's growth will be limited by the available soil volume it has. The fact is this tree is growing in a considerable amount of soil, right? There's soil underneath the street panel. There's soil underneath the sidewalk. There's, there's available open soil here in the tree pit. But just because there's soil nearby doesn't mean it's available. It may have, it may lack nutrients and or it may be compacted and unavailable. If a soil is as hard as concrete, tree roots are lazy. They're just like us. They're gonna eat what's available and they're gonna eat what's easiest. If a tree has a choice between growing in soft, fluffy soil conditions filled with worms and, and nutrients, that's where they're gonna grow. Side note, that's why tree roots often break sidewalks and trees and sidewalks you know, have these conflicts because frequently you got a, a concrete panel on the sidewalk that's four inches deep and then there's a void space under it, right? There's a little air space and the tree roots will go in there and just exploit that and grow like mad. It's very hard to be a city tree, to, be, to live your life with unavailable soil, minimal soil, minimal soil and unavailable soil, and 
to have a tiny little opening in the sidewalk, to be surrounded by concrete, to have dogs peeing on you all the time. It's a hard life. We get called in to install this material in tree pits, primarily to help eliminate trip hazards. You could put anything in here, right? You could put concrete or asphalt in there and that would eliminate the trip hazards. The problem with that is that would also kill the tree. The advantage of, the, of this material is that it won't damage the tree because again, it's 27% pore space and water gets through it regularly. I'm Brian Holers with Root Cause. If you have any questions about installing porous pave, please contact me. So why is the bark of the tree dark? Mostly it's just its nature, but it is a, this is a filthy environment, you know? This is also a very busy street. There's a lot of exhaust and soot coming out of cars to drive by here and listen. You and I came here this morning and when we're done doing what we're doing, we're gonna leave, right? That tree's been standing there in that spot and it hasn't moved an inch for 30 or 40 years, maybe longer, I'm not sure exactly. Right? It's got nowhere to go. That's another reason it's hard to be a city tree. You got nowhere to go, right? You can't take a break. You can't, you know, go up in the mountains and take a hike or just, you know, go live among your compadres in the forest. This tree is stuck here. And this tree plays a great role and we need it. We need it a lot more than it needs us. It doesn't need us at all, but uh, it's a hard life.